this computer. All right, welcome back to Conscious Evolution. I'm your host, Alan, I'm joined with Africa, and we got everybody else with us. Bone. And Bones and his wife, Kim. How are you guys doing? Everybody. Hello. And Sherry. There. <laughs> so I wanted Say to hi, Ed and Sherry. I wanted to talk about today right. as I <laughs> We're having fun while you're talking. Go That's ahead. Fine. Okay. Um what was I saying? Anyway, yeah, I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to do a, a video and kind of talk about the, the festival that we are co creating and that we experienced and that you know how transformational that was for us or what you experienced and how you've transformed through that experience and you know I, I thought it was a very powerful weekend and so many things happened i still haven't like fully processed the the, the yeah, i'm still, still on about it you know it's yeah. like so much stuff mm -hmm. and we had a couple of days with ed and sherry prior to that so there's like it's just <laughs> it's just so much that uh, I'm still processing, but you know, I feel major transformation. And you know, a couple of months ago, I had that that voice in my head as I was coming out of meditation one day that just, you know, it just told me, it said, just wait until 4th of July. And it was like, just wait till you see what happens on 4th of July. It's like, how oh, I remember, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. And wow. This, freedom, freedom. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. This just came up. <laughs> Alan, Alan, you know wow. what the Fourth of July is? Independence. Independence, Independence. Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is Crazy. Independence. Yes. Living in freedom, I guess. Freedom from fear and you know, like. Yeah, I mean that's, all the that's previous... like a lot of the things were like broke through fears and barriers that I. I don't want to say I didn't know that were there, but like I hadn't even thought of like working on that fear of like walking on fire. Like that's, you know, like that, that's like, you know, I think Bonesy said it well while we were there after we did the fire walk. He's like, you know, I don't need to do any of that other stuff. He's like, my past is on that fire. Our past is in that fire. You know, we left it all there and that shit's all burnt up, you know, and now we're just moving forward. And that's how I feel about it. And it's like, it brought me to a whole nother level of awareness to the powerfulness of ourselves and, and what we are capable of doing, especially when we come together in, uh, you know, in groups like this and the energies. Cause I know, you know, a few people were like not interested in doing any of that stuff. And, and, and then when it came to yeah, her, it, it like, you know, her, but, her. Like, yeah, I'm not that's doing it. I'm not doing it. Yeah. And we all did it. We all did we it. All I did it all. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm proud of her too. Hell yeah. I am, I am so proud of all of you. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah. Everything exercise. It was awesome. Yeah, it's pretty profound, but you know, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a there's a lot of other modalities in which we like to work with, and it's and usually it's for the bigger crowds of people, and things are a little more dynamic. It was very intimate with us, and it's like I think we got the point through with you guys. Basically, the things that you really needed to work with, man. And it's like a uh, uh, big. All the activities that you experienced, they were just metaphors for bridging that gap from where you were to where you want to be. You know. Well, the the fire itself is transformative, and it only has the meaning that you bring to it. Whatever space you are in, whatever situation you're looking to transform, if you're ready and you bring it to that fire, you will let it go. You will have that transformation. And it, you know, yeah, like, even if you're not, even if you're not thinking about it. Right, any kind of healing is always self-healing. It's just a right. vehicle to bring that self-healing to you. <laughs> I didn't know that that's what it meant what it meant to firewalk. <laughs> it's like I'm like, oh, long moment. But at the same time it's I it's just mind blowing how easy it is and how difficult we normal people, I guess, would think of it. You know, it's just like 
Well, it's a lot. It's mental. It's a mental game, you yeah. know, and that's, that's what it is. You got to overcome that barrier and that, that fear or restriction that we place on ourselves. And, and then it's like, you know, what was all the fuss about afterwards? After, you know, it's, you the first like, step. it's that first step that you have to take. That's the one. And once you take your second step, you're in the fire. So you best get your ass going. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is everybody freezing? No. What's so, everybody staring at? Like <laughs> everybody staring like <laughs> Who would like to volunteer to to tell us about their experience about uh, fire walking and maybe just like a minute in general of the whole experience so we don't you know make it too long. Me? Yeah. You start, baby. Yeah, I'll start. Yeah, there we go. I'll go ahead. Well, I'll start because I know I didn't. I wasn't going to do it at all. I didn't know the reason to do it. I thought, what's the sense in it? I didn't, you know, I didn't understand the reasoning behind it. And then once I did, and then when Africa did it, she says, Kim, you got to do it. Then boom, I was going to do it right off the bat. If she did it, I'm doing it. And so when I did it, it was that first step. And that's why I kept that first piece of coal. And then when I got to the very last one, I kept that very last piece of coal. And it just knowing that I did that made me feel so strong and so new and like refreshed and like I was getting ready to just start over with my life. I'm starting over. And it just, it was, it was a good feeling I had. So I'm just really grateful that you all talked me into doing it. We pushed her. <laughs> Get the fire. You pushed me into the fire. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think after smashing a board and then breaking an arrow with her throat, she was uh, <laughs> she was ready to go. <laughs> she survived that. And I, because I remember I said, why, you know, I'm not going to karate. And then Ed's like, no, it's not karate, you know. And then you guys explained to me what it was. And I was like, okay, you know, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Now, the arrow, I, I spent too much time trying to do it. And because it kept slipping right here. And and then it was slipping on that, you know, on that uh, board board thing that we had it up against. But I realized I was taking way too much time on that. Well, that's the you got to hurry up and do it and go, you know, yeah. to me. Right. And so but that's the, the fear. <laughs> of your the right part of your <laughs> but um, that I just I am so glad. I am, I appreciate you guys so much for. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Next. it was a pure pressure in a positive, pure energy or pure positive energy way. So it's it's so amazing to just you know encourage each other because I had no idea that Sherry could do all this. <laughs> I'm like, if Sherry knows how to do this, I want to know how to do this. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I was. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I know this is going to help me. I don't know it, uh, at the moment how, but it was just confirmation after confirmation within the next 24 hours after we got here. And it was just mind blowing because, you know, I had so many big dreams and big goals and, and, you know, I, I worked on aligning with myself and, you know, this, this was just, I feel like, the seal of confirmation of like the cherry on top that yes, you can do everything you want. You can have everything you want as long as it's for the positive of everybody. You know, it's just, yeah. I don't, I don't want to even, you know, consider a, a negative possibility because if, if the possibilities are infinite, then only the yeah. best. Why, why focus on negative? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so I want to stay in that mindset and I, I feel like just by, you know, practicing it and then, you know, he does the same thing. So I'm like, well, double the trouble then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <there you> go. <laughs> Bigger and better. <laughs> all of it. Yeah. I asked for all of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, um, I mean, I'm going to, are you done? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I think so. I have a bad habit of interrupting. I'm so sorry. 
You're good. Almost, I'm good. Almost need a talking stick. <laughs> <laughs> when I yeah, when I'm around. Okay, you're next. Uh, it's my turn. You're next. <laughs> about the fire. Uh, I remember when we was talking about it. You know, I remember just thinking, ah, you know, I'll do this. I think because I, when I was little, I seen people do it. Like it seemed like to me, it was Hawaiian people. I don't know why I think that, but. I don't know if they're the first ones to start it or if I just seen people doing it from Hawaii or something, but it seemed like that's what I seen when I was a kid. And I was always interested in it. And, you know, I'd see it there periodically every five or 10 years on TV or something. Never thought I'd ever get a chance to do it. But uh, when it came up and we talked about it a few months back or whatever, you know, I thought, man, I'll do this. You know, I was really just like so cock strong about it. You know, I was going to do it like ain't shit until I stood in front of it. At first, we watched a blaze, you know, about 15, 20 foot fire blazing up in the air, you know. I'm thinking, oh, boy, this is what we're about to walk on, huh? And then we shoveled it the thing, and then I'm like, ooh. I don't think if Africa would have went first, I don't know if I would have did it. I couldn't have went first. It's so good that a girl went before me because I was like, Dude, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> it don't I, matter what happens to me. If I, I die, I die. But I gotta do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was um, like I say, it was really a, a feeling of walking out of something and into something for me. It was, um, it was, uh, and I got a little kiss on the second time. It was because we put more coals in it, and I tried to go a little fast, and my heels sunk way down into the depth of it. Down in there deeper, <laughs> it's a little bit hot, you know, and my foot said, Wah! I was like, so my, I picked it up, flat-footed it, and got my ass across there pretty quick. But, yeah, it was uh, definitely walking out of the past and into the future for me. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love it. And then, um, you know, I, I stepped up to the fire, and I really hadn't thought about it the whole time. I was just – I was just watching in, in awe, and I was just assuming that it's just going to walk right across, and it's going to be fine. And obviously, people do it all the time, so it's not even going to, like, burn my feet or anything. And then I stepped up to the fire. I'm like, this month, this shit's hot. <laughs> 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 I had to take a breath and, like, step aside, and then Africa just went up and went through, and I was like, wow, that is so awesome. Like, <laughs> thought about it until I was faced with it like right in front of me and then I, I had that hesitation so I stepped aside and, and everyone else went and and I guess that's what I needed to see to, to the conference yeah. and that I was able to do it and then then we did it again and I was like um I didn't need to do it a second time I don't think but uh you know everyone else is doing it so <laughs> here we go we do it again but uh, you know I didn't get any any kisses on my feet I had a couple of little black spots and, mm -hmm. that, that, were, that were a little warm and um it was good for me it was I think, powerful i think for me in general was that i had already you know broken the board and i um, i thought it was only like professional karate people that could only do that and you know what was left of it we kept it as a you know memento and the other half or the other part we left it there to to burn which is you know it, as an offering or <clears throat> i don't know like something to go up in the heavens or whatever whatever intention um, you set for yeah so i mean after doing that and after the arrow experience and and just like you know feeling in that i can do anything <laughs> you know power yes i was like eh one more thing then i don't ha i mean i don't have to add anything else to my bucket list i feel like i completed my bucket list and i can do anything i want you know <laughs> it's true you right anything. put your mind to it yeah what did you think sherry and ed well i tell you what um it, it, it was really a blessing to have you guys in for the week and, and get to share some of our personal experience and uh, some of some of our uh, rabbit holes that we've been down over the few year past few years and uh, get to learn about you guys and uh, and uh, and just share 
you know, everything that, that we're experiencing at the same time. You know, we've seen a lot of transformation in the last four or five years. Um, and, and, and it's a blessing to share this, this um, facilitation with you guys, man, and, and, and empower you just a little bit. You know, it's like uh, we only had a few short days, a couple of days to get, this, get a few things done, but I think there was some big transformation. And that's such a confidence booster for me. I had a lot of doubts. As we're usually we're used to doing bigger events, you know, and it's like um, having a small intimate group. Um, yeah, it, it was a little less structured, but uh, we got to the point and did, did some really, really deep moving activities, you know. Uh, I want to get, to the, get to, the, to the heart of the subject, man, and hit you guys where, where it counts. You know, we, we left a lot of a lot of the lighter things out. And um, you guys are a little more advanced than most of the people we're, we're working. And, and like I said, man, I was thinking maybe it might be too much too fast, but it's like a, you guys stepped right up, man, and it really, really made made my experience uh, just awesome. Just awesome to be able to bring a small group together and see you guys experience this stuff and be able to share with one another, you know, and, and, and share with us. Because, you know, we've done, we've done this we've done this you know enough times that um, it, it it seems like I don't know it's like you go on autopilot trying to do the fire and stuff like that and um, but each time you do it it's different and it's through the whole new experience every time you do it it's another breakthrough for me you know every time I cross those those coals myself it's a new level of understanding appreciation. And um, it's hard to put it all into words, you know, but it's like to have you guys uh, take time out and come, you know, tra travel and come to do this, man. It's like I, it's a testimonial that, uh, you know, we, we can make this bigger and better and share it with everybody. And that's, that's really, we're going to take this all to the next level. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest, for me personally, I've, I've watched several fires, you know, many fires. But facilitating for others, it's just more a thrill. Um, it's unbelievable. And for me personally, um, this transformation meant to me, um, it was the coming together of everything that we've been working on as individual services to mankind, like the QHHT, like the Pandora Star like the, the personal counseling, like the meditation, and like the fire walking and the other empowerment activities. Um, we've been, I've personally, I've been looking at all those things as one little thing. It never occurred to me to bring it all together until we just sort of brought it all together for you guys with the time and the space that we had available. And now I realize this is what we're supposed to be giving. Not not necessarily individual pockets, but these events that are tr so transformative to others. All encompassing, you know, mm -hmm. with the reconnect of healing, uh, working with the frequencies and, and, and helping people make breakthroughs with all these other activities and understanding of uh, how this stuff works, you know, mm -hmm. uh, being able to being able to step outside of your, your normal mundane reality for a couple of days, man, it's like in, in itself just to, to escape from mundane life and be with like-minded people is healing in itself, and uh, you know that's that's a big part of it. Yeah. I wanted to acknowledge uh, AJ regarding the fire walking. When when you step up to those coals and you feel that heat, you're fighting everything you've ever been taught about fire. <laughs> You're, so, you're taught to stay away. Don't touch it. It's hot. It will burn you. And so you have to face all that program, just like we face all the other types of programs we receive. You have to face them and work through them to overcome them. And your, your, your acknowledgement when you stood at the line and felt that heat, you acknowledge that you weren't, you weren't quite ready just yet and you step aside and that alone takes courage. And I just want to commend you for taking that rather than just, rather than going in an unprepared state. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Kudos to you. 
And the last thing I want to say about the firewall um, is in regard to the women who stepped right up without hesitation. I think it's, uh, <laughs> I, I consider that a manifestation of the divine feminine yeah. coming into its power. And you two ladies embodied that in your firewall to me. That is what I witnessed. And it was beautiful. And I thank you for it. Yes. It was beautiful. I also want to, you know, thank you both and, you know, everyone who was there, uh, you for pushing me. You're like, we're going, we're going. We don't know how we're going to get there, but we're going. And I was like, fine, because we were trying to, you know, figure out the, the house situation and this and the moving. And it's just like everything just came together when we started, when we started, like, trusting ourselves. Yeah. And I think the the retreat was just magical for us because it just um, included everything that we want to embody as, as the new me, the new him, the new us, I guess. And it just, you know, it, it transformed me on a soul level, I guess. And that's what I want to do from now on. You know, that's why I wanted to study what I'm studying. And, you know, we got results on that. As soon as we came back, I mean, I got accepted to a PhD program for women's spirituality at yes. California, California Institute of Integral Studies. So I'm so excited. I start this August and it's so fast. I mean, everything just yeah. came together. And then I also got accepted to be on the executive team to translate for the Reconnective Healing um, team. So like the volunteers. Excellent. and yeah, I'm like uh, yeah, all so many that, things. Yeah, all that came in like <laughs> and then we less got the than house. 24 hours. Yeah, it's yeah, like we... everything just mm -hmm. snowballed into existence and just keeps building and building and building. And yeah, I'm just I mean, so appreciative of, of everything and, yes. and, and grateful for everything. Yeah, like, yeah. I it's 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 I don't know if they have, there's a, a correct price on it, you know, but just. It, the exchange of energy and the exchange of, you know, uh, experiences, it's just, it's a confirmation that, you know, we are on the right path and it's okay to be different. And um, if, you know, somebody's interested, if we can only change one person's mind that, you know, all you have to do is to try, then that's, that's good enough for me. So, yeah. <laughs> That was my intention when I started this channel is if I can help one person, then it's worth it. Right. That's success mm -hmm. at any level. Yeah. So, I mean, I just made a list of the things that we went through and they add up to nine. So I think <laughs> we can keep this list and I'll share it with everyone <laughs> privately. Okay, I can't be quiet no more. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Audio back on. That's my that's my cue. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> what do you think, Bonzi? What do you think this means with the nine? <laughs> you don't. Uh, I, I, we don't have time. <laughs> I think it means a lot. It's confirmation for me. It's just another synchronicity. I mean, two is nine. Oh, they, you guys flew in on a nine day. It was, it was seven two. So I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. It's amazing. it's amazing how all these, uh, you know, synchronicities come together and then just they just expand the conscience of everyone. So it's just like you have yeah. to, you know, trust and believe that it's true and and it happens. It happens to me, you know. Like, Is this locust getting really loud? Yeah. yeah. If you want to, yeah, I don't know what it is. We've covered all of every the time I got a video. I, think I got squirrel like, bugs, locusts. Everybody wants to be in the video. I don't know <laughs> what to do, man. That's they fun. actually had a blue jay and a squirrel that just wouldn't on our behind the bell show, man. They was all, oh, they, I thought they was going to jump on me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's funny. Well, I think we got a, a good show out of that. Um, I would add, I would just add one thing, and that's if anybody else is interested in organizing a small and intimate group to have a spiritual and empowerment retreat, they can reach out to us at innerlightjourneys.org. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Or awesome. you can contact us also. All the emails and websites will be listed below. Thank you. Um, 
Namaste. Yeah. Is this all we're talking about? For now, oh, <clears throat> for the show, just yeah, we'll stick around. Yeah, are, we, wait, are we on the Are we on the record or off the record now? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're still recording, but he can edit it out. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a few things. All right, off the record. A lot of you guys be the change that you want to see, and I look forward to continuing to create this event, and I am very excited to see it, and it's it's wholeness and the, watching the expansion of all of our lives and I just love you guys. Right back at you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Love